Well, guys, I am downloading the latest patch for the Madden 22 uh, PS5 version of the game, and I wanted to walk you through um, just the patch notes real quick. Uh, for those of you that aren't subscribed, be sure to do that. Um, I just wanted to cover kind of the update and share my thoughts on it, share kind of some, uh, I think, some insight that we can take away and how we're going to move forward um, over the course of the game. Obviously, there's a lot that was has been bugged out. This game is uh, probably one of the worst launches in, in the history of EA but that being said, let's dive into it. So I'm just going to switch over here and go over to the computer. And I just want to go through this with you uh, kind of line by line and just break this down. So uh, Madden 22, Xbox Series X, S, and PS5. Key highlights, adding more authentic historical content to the game, including historical uniforms, character authenticity, as well as stability improvements, causing connectivity issues. Okay, great. Um, I think that the number one thing that's been wrong, there's two big things, two big things that needed to be fixed. Number one was all of the random bugs, the your team disappearing, the random bug where you, you would just, um, the RPO glitch, for example. Um, another random bug would be where, uh, with the momentum where you couldn't see your screen. Things like that were bugs, right? Those were bugs. Those needed to be fixed. But the general over undertone that has been given to EA since the summer, even when the beta was first out, was the zones were terrible. And um, there's nothing in this patch about zone coverage. Um, so anyway, we've got the Giants new white pants. So we're really excited about that. But we don't have zone, a flat zone still doesn't cover a flat route. Um, so that is, to me, the biggest takeaway from this. Um, you know, they give you a little precursor here. We're going to get to that in just a minute. But this is just all visual stuff. I don't personally really care about that. I don't value that. I value this right here, gameplay. I think a lot of you do. Um, especially if you're following my channel. But anyway, let's just go through this. So pass coverage, before we get into gameplay updates, I want to let you know that we are aware of the feedback around pass coverage. I would hope so because you've been given that feedback since the summer, and here we are in September. Uh, we're continuing to monitor and collect the community's feedback that they've shared with us. We look forward to sharing the actions we're taking towards pass coverage. Basically saying we've done nothing yet. Um, that's that's what that means. Okay, they've done nothing yet. There's a major tournament next week and, or uh, next week for thousands of dollars, and a flat zone still can't stop a flat route. Now, to be fair, uh, I will say that you know what, that's the state of the game, and you know what, both people get to play the same game. So, you know, to be fair on that, you know, I guess you just throw flat routes, and that's just when it's going to be what it's going to be. But my point is just to say. I think this is a major mistake. Uh, this has been an issue. I don't know why we're spending time on this stuff when this is the number one problem with this game. Number one problem with this game is this right here. Um, they just I'm not saying defense should be easy. I'm not asking for 91 zone. I'm not asking um, for defense to be overpowered. I don't I don't mind. I, I do agree. Uh, Dubby says this. He says that he was talking with Jet Steel, who's a big time Madden player from old. And um, he was talking with him and Jet said, you know, for the game to be good or for skill gap to be good, one piece of the game has to be bad, whether it be offense or defense, right? One, one side of the ball has to be hard. I'm not asking for defense to be easy. What I'm asking for is when I put a hard flat out there for it to cover it. Um, I'm not even too mad about the cover three bombs um, or the fact that cover three deep thirds don't play corner routes. I just want my flat zone to stop a flat route. That's all I'm asking for. Um, so that's just a big deal to me. I... I really think this is a big miss. Big miss. Um, now, what they did do, this is a good thing. Uh, Mode-specific tuning of momentum added for online head-to-head -head modes. Momentum will swing slower. So basically what that means is, which this has happened to me, where you'll give up, a t like let's say you come out and you kick the ball off, you go down, you give up a touchdown. They already have full momentum bar. Um, <laughs> and so, you know, it just, you know, causes fumbles and different things like that. So I, I absolutely hate momentum in general um some people like it i just absolutely think it's ridiculous um but i will say the fact that they patched it and said swing slower i'll take that that's fine uh address an issue causing an exploit management to activate inappropriately when the defense had only three pass rushers versus running plays key note here on competitive game style which i think is weird why they would do that um but it's still possible for this logic to kick in even if you're dropping nine or more defenders into coverage versus a running play with a heavy run set. So uh, biggest thing I want to say about this is what this essentially means is the weak box stuff is not going to happen. Now, what we need to test, and I'm not sure on this. I'm going to do some tests on this. 
I actually want to see how dime, like dime normal or dollar does against the run. Um, specifically like against, because if a heavy run set is just like a one tight end, uh, like a single back ace or I pro, then that, what that tells me is you still need to rush four. Now, one little pro tip on this is if you put your defender in a bluff blitz, that will help it. They won't glitch out. They won't fall down or whatever. Or if you just blitz your user, that's a way that you can get around it and only send two to three people for max coverage. Okay. But this is all, honestly, this is good. I mean, this is, this is, this was, I mean, again, a bug. Um, it's not, they didn't improve the game. They just fixed the bugs. That's what I see. Uh, so anyways, fixed an issue causing the DN to be unblocked too frequently versus nickel double A gap. No one runs nickel double A gap. No one. Um, they run two, four, five, double a gap. They don't run nickel double a gap. So, you know, I didn't even, I don't know. I mean, this was, I get it, but I'm just, I don't think this is that big of a deal, but okay. Good job. Uh, just an issue. Basically they patched the RP zone play that I told you about. I told you they patch it. Everyone's been saying this is going to get patched. They patched it. So hopefully that means that the glitch on that is not an issue anymore. Um, I'm sure it's still going to be effective, but probably just not as effective Fix an issue causing running backs to be kept out of the game too long after getting fatigued. Praise God. Like, we needed that to be fixed. They fixed it. Good job. Um, so basically what that would, what would happen was essentially your player would glitch. Like, if, if you got tired, then the game would automatically sub them out of the game and they would just never put them back in. So to me, that's a big issue. Uh, playbook updates. Honestly, I don't want to really spend too much time on this. Like, good for them. They added these two random formations that no one will ever use. Like, I'll look at it and see if there's anything good in it, but I don't think anyone's going to use this stuff. Not very many people run the Rams playbook this year, so I don't know. We'll look at it and see if there's anything there. Uh, updated AI team play, calling on offense for t more team-specific and improved Super Sim stats. I think that's one of the dumbest things that I've read in this entire article because I don't understand why we're putting time into the computer. Like, I don't, I don't understand that. Now, granted... I'm a competitive guy. I want to play competitive. I want to play in weekend league. I want to, I want to be the best as I can possibly be. So to me, this is, I'm never playing an AI on the other side, calling an offensive game. That it's not, I, that this is one of the things I feel like they've put a ton of energy into. And I, I can't, I don't know if this is true. It probably isn't that this, that them doing this means that they're not doing anything up here. But I just think this is a pointless – I don't know. I just think it's pointless. But, I mean, maybe if you're someone that likes to play the computer, good good, good look on you. But I just – I don't know anyone that's like a serious Madden player that likes to play the computer. Um, I don't think it's fun, and I don't I don't know. But I, that's just my opinion. Uh, fix an issue sometimes causing the tight end to collide with an offensive lineman as he ran his route behind the line of scrimmage on play action. Boot play. Good job. Yes, that's happened to me. Um, I think that's a good adjustment or good fix. Um, this right here, I mean, basically the general tone is like read option is not going to be as good anymore. Um, as far as a glitch perspective, you're going to have to run it more like you used to have to run it. So, you know, the RPO stuff is going to be bad. I don't even want to deal with this. Like, good job. They fixed a bunch of stuff for franchise, you know, great, great for them. Um, you know, it is what it is. I'm, I, it, it's fine. I mean, it's not a big deal to me. Um, I'm not a franchise guy. But they did a bunch of stuff for franchise. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to hit on was, I think down here somewhere, here we go. Uh, these right here. So fixed an issue preventing the QB contained play art from updating when using the hot route. Good. Um, fix an issue with coach cam play art sometimes causing coverage art to flip. So good for them. Fix an issue in play call causing offensive plays to sometimes appear in defenses user call uh, locally, that's fine. Um, I like this. Really nothing here. I Here we go. This is the big one. Uh, fix an issue preventing button icons from appearing when using quick adjustments. So good. They fix that. They need to fix that. Again, fixing bugs. They didn't fix the big issues. They just fixed the bugs. Okay. So what I wanted to do, I just got the patch downloaded. So I wanted to jump back over to gameplay. Um, and I just wanted to kind of run through a couple things to prove, to prove kind of the notes of the patch. So I'm going to grab the, I'm going to grab a couple playbooks. We're going to jump into practice mode. And uh, I just wanted to break down a couple of things that I, that I just want you to see uh, pretty clearly. And then we're going to do more, obviously, as, as things change. 
Um, you know, again, if you've got any of my eBooks, they're going to get updated with patch. Um, anything that anything that needs to be updated post patch, you always get those updates with my eBooks. Um, that's just kind of the way that I've, I've wanted to do it this year. So, anyways, I'm just going to grab the Giants playbook, and then I'm going to grab. I don't want to grab New England. I'm going to grab Wash or uh, grab Washington. And then on offense, I'm going to grab Carolina, and I'm going to grab, uh, I'll just grab Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay's fine. So the weak box stuff is not going to be as big of an issue. So here's why that's significant. So one of the reasons why that's significant is now I think you're going to see 3 through 5 to 3 through 5 wide more because the personnel is so important to have that personnel. And you've, you've already seen it a lot, but I think you're going to see it even more because now people aren't going to get weak box as much, so they're going to want to run that more. I think you'll see more coverage-based defenses where they'll drop uh, several people now because the weak box stuff is fixed. Um, but anyways, let me just jump in. So I want to go. I'm going to grab uh, Y curl, and let's just test this out. Test this is the latest patch, fresh off the update. Literally, I'm doing this as soon as the update came out. I've been up all night, kind of waiting to see what would happen with this. So I just wanted to get this out. Also, real quick, if you want to get free schemes, text the number up top, text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. We've already released uh, a free offense, a free defensive preview in there. And then we're going to be releasing uh, more content in it this weekend. Every weekend we release a free scheme for you. So anyways, let's go over verticals. So I'm just going to streak circle. I'm going to cover three, watch circle receiver. And you'll see the same thing happens. He glitches out. And of course... It's just because he got hit, but I mean, he go, he glitches out. The bottom line is he glitches out. Let me just show you. The Mike Blitz 3 is so random in practice mode with the way the a players just align and stuff and the way the random matching because you don't have his own drops on. But anyways, let me just show you. So I'm just streaking him. Hopefully he doesn't get jammed. And you'll see here, I can still completely bomb cover 3. Now the inside safety, this was something they did in the original patch. But the inside safety does get there sometimes. Most of the time he doesn't. Um, let me show you Y curl now. So this is Y curl. Um, so you'll see that square should get over the top. There you see he does that little glitch. Glit gets glitched out and square is wide open. Okay. Um, let me grab let me grab double post now because I want to show you the I want to show you what I'm talking about when it comes to flat routes. So I'm just gonna put Y curl in the audibles. But I just want to run through a couple things. So Y cur or uh, double post, hard flat. We're actually going to put two hard flats out there just to prove a point. So you get double post. As long as you have a drag, uh, I find drags help it. But you see hard flats, nothing. They, I mean, I didn't complete it, but they don't, they don't, they don't pick it. They don't do anything, and I'm pass committing, and there's two of them. Okay. Um, and if I motion brown out, it'll be even worse. But anyways, you see. Just throw it. I guess he's just not reacting. I don't know why he's not reacting. But um, you should be able to just still be able to abuse these flats. There we go. He caught it. So you see, I mean, even a hard flat. They don't stop. They, they, they actually do a little better job, I think. Um, I think there may have been some general tuning to them. But they don't. They still don't stop it. They don't pick it. They don't react. Like, just throw it. And as you see, 10 yards. I mean, it's just hard flat. And a curl flat, and they're still they're still not doing anything. They're still not doing anything, man. So let me show it to you again. Double Mabel, two people in the flats, and why is my tight end still the most outside player from an inside bunch set? Just crazy to me. Um, I want to show this too. Um, this is another bug. So let's say they put this guy in a in a in a zone, and just to show this, I'm just gonna get this safety out of the way. But so this guy's on a hard flat, right? Okay, and I'm past commit. Ah, uh, I accidentally did that. Sorry about that. Let me come back out and show you this. Let me grab uh, cover four drop too, so I can show you a couple things here. So anyway, go to Mike Blitz three. Okay. Um, so we're shading our coverage down. We're in a hard flat. Got a safety. Got a good zone out there. Okay. So watch what's going to happen. So I'm going to go to the play Y curl. And all I'm going to do is drag square. I don't even need to do that, but that's all I'm going to do. I'm just going to drag square. So watch triangle. See how the flat comes inside, and I can easily throw that ball to the flat. Now, I will say they're doing a little better. They're not They're they're not getting completely, like, dumbed out. Like, before, they would literally get completely dumbed out. This is why cover two is so good, because uh, cover two, as long as you don't 
put the actual deep halves out there. Um, cover two has a shot because they're outside already. But anyways, watch this hard flat. See how it gets sucked in? I can throw it out there. It's an automatic five yards every single time. You can do this even better uh, with a play like spacing switch and just drag square, put this guy on a table route, and then we all have backfield master pretty much. And as you see, I mean, you're just abusing the flat. They just don't pick it. They don't pick it. They don't react to it. Nothing. Okay. Um, want to show another cover three bomb. Um, this is PA Dig Fork. And again, if you want all the setups, um, if you want all the setups and everything that I do and my exact offense, there's a link in the description. As you see now, it's it's worse. It's it's even worse now than it was before. But you see completely glitches cover three for a one play score. So where's my third? Where's the third? Where's he at? Nowhere. He's not he's not there. <laughs> um cover two. Okay, cover two. I'm gonna put this little middle linebacker in the deep zone and I'm gonna tell them to shade outside and over top. And it's not going to matter. You're going to see here, we're going to bomb cover two on both sides of the field. So I want you to watch the left side first. I think that's the more important thing. So as you see here, what the heck just happened? One play touchdown against cover two. Easy, 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 man. And um, what about the streak stuff? Um, I can't say that Evans is going to cook here, but he he's going to be in a pretty good spot. So if I just streak him, that's it. That's all I do. Just simply streak the square receiver. You see he gets inside leverage. I just lob it to the inside, click on, and I can kind of get over the top of cover three. Even though Mike Evans is like 80 speed, Jamel Dean's 95 speed. Clear speed advantage to the corner, yet the receiver is still getting over the top of him. Okay, so these are issues with the pass coverage. When they say we are aware of issues with pass coverage, they've been aware of this stuff since June. In fact, I would go as far to say they've been aware of this stuff since Madden 21 Next Gen was launched, okay? Um, as far as your, you know, you guys that are gonna wanna run some 335 wide, I will show you your pressure still completely screams. Um, to me, I think this should be, pat the thing I think of you guys is if I block this running back, right? I'm telling the running back, uh, I'm telling the running back, I need you to go guard. I need you to go block 20, uh, the guy. So watch, he still dumbs out on the contain, right? The contain, he blocks him in practice, but in game he'll, he'll dumb out. He's still, I'm telling you, he still will, he still will dumb out. They clearly haven't fixed that. Um, they have fixed the play art. So as you see here, when I put a contain on the field, the contain actually shows, um, and then you can run your, your three, three, five wide stuff. Okay. Uh, we got more stuff coming out on three, three, five wide here later this week. So be stay tuned to that. Um, you know, but anyways, let's show you, um, let's show you match coverage real quick. I'm a big fan of match coverage. So cover four quarters. Okay. All we're going to do is we're going to go to verticals. We're going to motion that guy out and streak this R1 receiver. And just want you to kind of take a look. You're going to see tight end gets wide open. They completely mess up the match. Um, there's a million and one examples of that. So the match coverage is still not fixed. There's still there's still a ton of bugs with that as well. Um, so if you all of your match beaters, all the things that you've used in the past to beat match, you're still going to be able to use that. I will say they cover that route a little better. But as you can see, we're still getting over the top and glitching the match coverage. So Really, like I said, I just want to be really clear. They didn't fix the pass coverage. They were clear. I want to be even more clear. They did not do anything to fix the pass coverage. So everything that you've been learning, everything that you've been um, studying, hopefully, and trying to improve, keep doing that because they're not fixing the pass coverage. It's not a thing. I wouldn't expect the, them to patch the pass coverage for another month. I wouldn't expect it for another month, even though they've said they're aware of it. And if and I, I'd be excited if it was another month. They may not patch it. There's been guys, and I think they're accurate, there's been guys that have said they're not going to patch this coverage uh, for the season. We, we just start hoping for Madden 23. So the point is, start adjusting. It's time to adjust. It's been, um, it's been almost 30 days since we played this game, and we've had the same issues. We're going to have the same issues. They're going to fix bugs. They're not going to fix coverage. At least that's what's happened so far. So that's what we have to go on. So as you're studying, as you're getting better, I've got guides that can help you on both sides of the ball uh, in the description. But the point is, be sure and be aware of to know they're not going to fix it just because you want it to be fixed. You have to adjust. Figure it out. Practice. Try. Work at it. 
And to be honest, that's all you can do. Control what you can control. They've got to do their part. We obviously can't trust them to just do whatever we suggest them to do. The whole community has said that the zones are terrible. Every single YouTuber I know has said zones are terrible. Every single uh, content creator that I know has said that the defense is hard. Defense is ridiculous. You can't move. All of those things have been said, and they've clearly shown us that they're not going to fix it. So it's time to stop complaining. And it's time to start adjusting. So, that being said, guys, that's my video on the latest patch. Just something I wanted to share. I wanted to get this out to you as soon as I could. Uh, and I wanted you to see that everything's still... I mean, this is another good example is verticals. Um, so, I thought they had patched this. They don't. So, you're playing cover four quarters. You just streak circle. Watch circle be wide open. All you do is just lob it up to him. So, the point is, they've not changed any of that stuff. That stuff is all still an issue. So... It's time to adjust. It's time to adapt. And if you've been hesitating or wavering on what do I do? Should I get a defensive guide after the patch comes out or whatever? I'm just telling you, it's time to start adjusting. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to get my stuff, uh, my defensive guide shows you how to deal with all the stuff that I showed you that works in this video. So if you want to get that defensive guide, there's a link in the description. It's the best defense in the game. It's the best coverage in the game. Um, and it's a way that we can kind of manipulate the AI a little bit to actually get our players to react. So there's a link in the description. It's got great blitzes and everything. And then the offense as well as obviously lethal gun bunch. You want to learn how to do all the stuff that I do from bunch. It's the best offense in the game this year. Not even close. It's not even close. Um, so I'd get it. Link in the description. Thanks for your support. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you thought of the patch. And uh, we'll see you guys later.